Hey nieces and nephews, it's Uncle Chris, and it's late at night in the Uncle Chris kitchen because this is the time I experiment. And what am I trying to make now? Well, I'm going to try to make the words went around my head. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try to make hummus. <laughs> I tell you, Mina's here. Now, I'm going to make the food pantry version. So we'll either make something that tastes really good or really nasty. Hopefully not. <laughs> okay, let me show you what I'm going to use. Of course, I've got some garbanzo beans. I've got some extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin. Those that know me will get that joke. <laughs> some sesame seed oil. We're using some smoked paprika. Something I usually don't use, some salt, but this is sea salt. Also some fresh ground pepper and some taco seasoning. Now, normally you would use something called uh, tahini for your, instead of sesame oil. What tahini is, it's ground sesame seeds. They're ground into like a paste, but you know, they don't give that out at the food pantry. So guess what? <laughs> sesame oil it is. And you're supposed to put cumin in it, but I don't have any. But taco seasoning has cumin in it. So we're going to try and use that. We're going to do this and see how it comes out. Mm. All right, here we go. I'm going to pour out most of the liquid. It looks like most of the beans, too, because I don't want it to be too watery. All right. I'm going to put the beans in my blender. Looks like I might need that water after all from the beans. They call this aquafaba. <laughs> now, I'm going to put in... Oh, about a teaspoon or so of the taco seasoning because that's going to be our cumin, okay? Then I'm going to put in just a little bit of the sesame oil instead of the tahini because this stuff has a strong flavor. Then I'm going to put in about a fourth cup olive oil. Okay. I'm saving this for last to garnish on top, the smoked paprika, okay? I'm going to put in three turns of the sea salt. Then I'll put in about six turns of the black pepper, which should be a teaspoon. Now I'm going to put in the rest of this liquid just about, put it about, maybe a little more, a little less than half. I'm going to blend this. Then we're going to see. Hold on. Let's blend until it's creamy. All right, now I'm going to put this in a bowl. I don't know y'all it looks good but let me get a chip and we'll taste it I'm all scared to try this <laughs> okay here we go mm. you know what this needs. I'm going to take a half a lemon. I'm going to put some lemon juice in there. I'm going to take me some uh, onion powder. I'm going to put about more, a little more than a teaspoon in. Some garlic. Put the same amount. A little less. I'm going to take a little bit of oregano. 
Put that in here. And I want to put some more black pepper. I'll put another good teaspoon in there. Let me mix this up. this again. Much better. Mmm. Mmm. I bet if you put some sour cream in this, this would be the bomb. I like it. I dare you make it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm shocked. This will really be good in a gyro really good so i'm thinking to put some sour cream in it should we come on let's do it i tell you y'all it would take me to make something that's healthy unhealthy <laughs> mix some of that in i probably did a tablespoon of a sour cream in there i just did a dollop as they say now, hmm. oh yeah, nieces and nephews, this is a good experiment. Now, you can make your own dip for parties. <laughs> I want you to experiment in your kitchen. It never hurts. Does it always turn out right? No. And now I'm on Patreon, and I'll have extra videos to show you guys. Also on YouTube, if you become a, a member, yeah, I'll show you how you do it. You'll see my bloopers and stuff I made that turned out horrible. <laughs> now, like, comment, and subscribe. Write to me, Uncle Chris, the food pantry chef at gmail.com. And guess what? Tomorrow, food pantry day. All right. Big love from Uncle Chris. In the meantime, I'm going to watch a movie and go to bed. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>